So I have just finished getting a calibrated level of 83 dB right here at the listening position by getting a, an output, uh, calibrated noise output, uh, and then adjusting the monitors for 83 dB at the listening position. What I'm going to do now is adjust the hardware input uh, of the microphone in order to get a 0 dB on the uh, monitoring uh, on the input. And although, again, like I said, it's already, uh, I did this beforehand, I'm going to show you that what that zero looks like. And again, you're going to make the adjustment at the microphone input. So we already have zero here. We just need to make sure that we get a zero back on the input now. Now I'm going to switch between the K20, K12, and K14 um, uh, noise levels and show you what the difference looks like on our in monitor, input monitor. We're at K20 right now, and that K20 again is at 59, right? Turn it back on. So I'm going to leave it at K14, and you're going to see that we are now uh, 6 dB too hot on the input monitor. And then uh, when we will use that to adjust the volume on our monitors, the hardware volume, down 6 dB again, just as we did before. So, now I have a calibrated level for mixing and mastering pop records using the K14 metering system. Um, what, again, what I've done is I've used a higher noise source, and I've mon uh, used this as a uh, leveling monitor, and I've adjusted my monitors down 6 dB. Um, you'll notice that I did that adjustment at uh, the mixer instead of the monitors themselves. Um, this is because you're going to sometimes want to be able to switch between the, these things and the only thing that's essential to know, the only reason that you're doing any of this is so that you know what your what your calibrated le listening level is. So whereas before using the K20 noise source my master fader level was at 59, I'm now at 50. I hope you can see that. Okay? So if I want to mix and master a pop record, I need to fire up my workstation and my hardware at a main output volume of 50% on this mixer, and my levels will be uh, perfect. And I, it will, uh, like I was explaining before, no more guessing games. Um, you can actually use the K12 noise source, which is a little bit louder, and then dial it down even more if you wish to make your recordings even louder. 
Um, but it's not necessary. I recommend staying quiet because the person that's listening to your recording can always turn it up, but they can never turn it back down. Um, so I recommend uh, that you use K14 and do this process. Let me know if you have any questions um, or if there are any uh, specifics about your setup that you need help with. I know not everybody has a DB uh, meter um, or an Android tablet or anything like that. So if you have questions uh, or need recommendations, please let me know. Thank you.